guys, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the exclusive The Phantom Menace Wave Mace Windu um, from the Episode 1 packaging. Um, it, if you guys seen my haul video, I explained that I will be doing reviews on these guys, but I will be doing them a bit differently. They are re-releases, so they are exactly the same as the previous figures. The only exception is Mace Windu, uh, no not Mace Windu, Qui-Gon Jinn because of the new updated face, but everyone else is basically the same. They are not different in any type of way. Um, before we get started, let me show you guys the packaging though. It is really beautiful. I believe Mace Windu is the only one out of the whole wave, even Mace, even uh, Darth Maul and Obi-Wan, who has a red outline at the bottom of the box and not, uh, not a yellow one, which is kind of interesting. It's weird. I don't know why they would do that, but it's cool. Uh, we got the 50th sticker there. Hasbro logo there. Um, he has light table right there. Um, and then we have the actual face himself there. Looks a little bit weird. No, that's better. And then we got the image of the Phantom Menace uh, carded back there, Mace Windu. You can see this. This is something that bothers me with Hasbro is that they put. The Phantom Menace uh, picture here, but in the Phantom Menace, he actually has darker robes than he has in this figure and that he has in the regular uh, released figure. Uh, he actually has them way darker there, and it's a little bit of a color difference, but it's still kind of noticeable. You could definitely tell uh, which one is the Phantom Menace and which one is Revenge of the Sith Mace Windu just because of the Jedi robes, and they definitely looked <clears throat> more of like a uh, dark brownish kind of color like that type of color compared to the Mace Windu figures we've gotten which are more based on the Revenge of the Sith ones and uh, here we got Darth Maul's face there and the episode 1 logo there and we got a different type of back um, packaging compared to the 20th anniversary San Diego Comic Con uh, Obi-Wan and Darth Maul figures a bit different then we got the description you guys want to pause and read and we got uh, all of the movies that came out since we even got the rise of skywalker there 2021 it's pretty cool honestly uh but yeah like i said we're not going to be opening this guy up because it is the exact same figure right here i've got uh the red line version of him which is exactly the same he has the photo real face just as the one in packaging does uh, his clothes are the same as the one he has. Lightsaber is the same. Uh, let's take a look at the lightsaber though. Pretty nice detail there. He It doesn't come with a clip to clip on to the figure as you guys have seen. He doesn't even have a hole in there. So pretty interesting as you guys can tell right here. It is exactly the same blade. Exactly the same. Pretty nice though. And uh, the figure's articulation, um, should I take off the robe? Uh, I guess just for the sake of showing the articulation well. Pretty easy to take off compared to Plo Koon's, obviously. Uh, for articulation, his neck does go up and down, has a nice swivel all the way around. It seems to have some sort of, I'm not entirely sure, but neck movement maybe. Can't really get it to move all that much though. Um, torso has a nice swivel. His arm can go all, all the way up and down, all the way around too. Elbow has a nice 90 degree angle. And yes, it, it's kind of cool that they actually, for the Jedi figures, they included some sort of uh, undershirt uh, type of mode there. So it's pretty cool. And then for his hand, he can make it go all the way around and then has a nice little joint there to go inward and then that one can also go inward i believe yep inward too this looks more like a trigger holding hand but i think they try to make it seem like a force hand i believe and i'm not too sure about that though but um his legs can go up not all the way up though for some reason the jedi seem to have this type of thing where uh, it's mainly because of the, I think, restricting robe. I'm not too sure. 
what it is but you make it go up and it kind of goes a little down so kind of hard to do that um, does do the splits pretty nicely though and has a double jointed knee so that's pretty cool and then has a nice swivel at the foot and can go in and out so that's pretty nice um, as in terms of detail the figure has a uh, not really that much detail only in the belt he obviously has those uh jedi that jedi gear there and then for the face we have that photo of real face there it's a pretty nice figure overall it looks like he has a mole there uh pretty nice figure overall though and uh, got really no complaints it's mace windu and as for the robe it's also pretty nice uh I had to get a second one of these robes from one of my friends just because I needed it for Kit Fisto because it is a pretty nice robe. It's a basic Jedi robe and uh, made, made, made Kit Fisto look way better too. I don't have him on me so I can't show you guys him though. But it, it's, it, to put it on it's pretty simple. It's nice. Uh, I think the only thing that bugs me is that the hood tends to go want to go up all the time. And uh, it sort of bugs me because Mace Windu doesn't really have it up at all i think it was only in the phantom menace at the end and where he had it up but most of the time i keep it down and it almost wants to stay down but for the most part it just wants to go up so if you want to keep it down i recommend maybe folding it inward like sort of like this it'll look a little bit messy when you look at it from the front but um it's sort of the only way to keep it down i think and uh if you play around with it yeah you can make it keep it down and uh, to put his lightsaber in, it's not really difficult. You just put it in like that, pretty easy. Um, to move it around though, the uh, sleeve does get sort of in the way when you put the lightsaber all the way in there. It does tend to get in the way, if that, a little bit. So you might want to have it up a little bit more. Um, but that's basically the figure. There's not really much to it. Uh, this figure is pretty nice and simple. It's Mace Windy, you can't go wrong with him by getting him. Um, I'm not sure if he might ever return in the Star Wars franchise, but it'll be cool if he does. Um, for now, we got this version, and I think it, I'm pretty satisfied with him. Um, again, it, it, it's exactly the same figure as this one. Only reason I wanted this one is because it's Mace Windu. I like, I love him. Um, uh, it's the Phantom Menace card back. Like, how can you not get him? Um, but if you definitely just, if you're an opener and you already have Mace Windu, there's not really any type of difference. They're exactly the same figure so again um, up to you whether you want to get him just for the packaging or you want to get him um, because you missed out on the first one um, I think they're about the same price because they did have to re-release him in other places like Amazon um, no not Amazon I think it was GameStop I'm not, I'm not quite sure but you can find him in Dorkside Big Bad Toy Store um, Entertainment Earth I believe I think Amazon has them for 25 too, but up to you. You can either get them, they're, they're basically the same price. Redline has the same price as this, so you can't really, um, you can try on eBay. You know, eBay has probably this version for a lower price. I knew he was pretty high, but now when he, this version released, well, that got a little bit lower, so up to you guys. But I definitely like the figure. A great addition to your Jedi collection. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. I'm sorry if I didn't open him. I'm not sure if you guys really wanted me to. But again, exactly the same figure. Why would I? And uh, especially when this package is just really mint. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.